already. What's going on in Brussels family? Cheers. Cheers. Hi, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? So we are celebrating. Probably seem like we celebrate a lot because that's what we like to do. We like to celebrate. We like to celebrate milestones. We like to celebrate God's blessings in our lives. And today, well, today, well, actually, today we're kind of celebrating early because of work and stuff. So, but we celebrate. What are we celebrate, Rick? We are celebrating. Tell the people. <laughs> Eight. Wonderful years of marriage. Cheers, man. Cheers to eight years. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's been eight years since we said I do. Yep. In San Diego, at the courthouse, on walk-in Wednesday, huh. just out of the blue, you know, we just decided to get married. Yep. And um, we were engaged for like two weeks. What was it that long? Yeah. It may have been two weeks. I think we were engaged for two weeks. Um, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with our story, and we will tell our love story again. But just for a quick reference, um, Tony just proposed to me and was like, I don't want you to be my wife. I want you to be, I don't want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to be my wife. What? And so we were friends for like a year and a half prior to that. Um, we were never boyfriend and girlfriend. And then, you know, we started like going out on dates and stuff like that. Just kind of like seeing more of each other. Still no titles, nothing official. And he wanted to make it official. And so did I. But of course, he asked me to be his wife. And I said yes. Come on, somebody. Um, fast forward to... Two weeks later, we found out that we were having our first child. And um, a few days after that, we got married. So we already knew we wanted to be with each other for the rest of our lives. So it was like a no brainer to go ahead and just start our family officially, do it the right way, get married. And um, we were just ecstatic to start our lives together. So here we are, eight years later. Still very much so in love, yeah. still happy, still like each other, yeah. <laughs> you know. And so right now we're just celebrating. Um, we're doing a small celebration. Why well, I can't even say that small. It's big to us, yeah. but it's very impromptu in a way because we didn't have anything like major plans. Um, because Tony is actually about to uh, go out of town for work. So he's going to go for about five to six weeks for work. Um, and we will actually miss our um, anniversary, anniversary date. date, Yeah, our official date. So, Which is July the 10th, mm -hmm. which is our official anniversary date. So celebrating a week early, basically, which is 4th of July weekend. Yeah. It's cool, though, man. It's very uh, something we decide to do, like, yesterday literally yeah <laughs> shout out to my friend our friend yep. our sister Tavanya. she has our children right now so yep. she was just like y'all go y'all do something so right now we're in santa monica california mm -hmm. and we're at the oceana hotel which is so cute you guys it's Good. right here on um santa monica boulevard and it is just su such a cute vibe for uh, a date night or a small, you know, staycation or something like that when you don't want to be in a, like a really big hotel with a lot of tourists and a lot of people. Um, this is very intimate and that's what I really like about it. Because um, I, I love intimate things these days, you know? So I can appreciate intimate things these days. I don't need the vibe and I don't need you know the uh, crowds. Yeah. I like intimacy. I like looks. You know, so yeah. that's where I'm at in my life right now. <laughs> so yeah, so we just wanted to hop on and just share with you guys um, what's coming down the pipeline for us. We will be apart for the next six weeks or so. Yeah. Um, so pretty pretty much all summer we will be apart, but you will still see 
Ingram Muscle Upload. Right. So still make sure that you guys are subscribing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still make sure that you uh, hit the notification bell. Yep. Give this video a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see videos from Ingram Muscle, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to hear or you want us to talk more about our love story, how we met, how we got married, um, our first year of marriage, our, our um, you know, first five years or whatever you guys want to hear us, yeah. us talk about. We are an open book, as yeah. you guys already know. And um, I can just say that um, this eight years, the last eight years of our marriage has just been absolutely amazing. Oh. You know, marriage has been a complete blessing. And I just feel like, you know, if you want to get married, don't listen to the naysayers. Yes. You know, one of the things that we talk about often is that we often hear people say marriage is hard, marriage is hard. And don't get me wrong. You know, you have two human beings coming together, cohabitating, coexisting together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can run into uh, trials, tests, yes. and that's differences. And like, that's normal. Like that's, that shouldn't be hard. You know what I mean, yeah. right? It shouldn't. It shouldn't throw your whole marriage, marriage in the out. trash. Like, yeah, it's nothing that you two can't do together with communication, prayer, uh, being intentional about your relationship, and just really wanting to beat the odds, you know, and uh, loving on each other, being friends. Man, we just kind of we just have fun all the time, honestly, and. You know, people always say, oh, that's just the honeymoon phase, like the first couple of years. But honestly, it's been a bliss. It's been very blissful mm -hmm. since we've been married. And we had challenges. Yes, we have had challenges. But we haven't made day, marriage hard. No, no, it hasn't. Like, it hasn't made the whole marriage hard. Oh, right, like, like oh. we might have, you know, bumped heads, right. like, one day or two days. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's, like, it's, not, it's not anything that... When you hear people say that marriage is hard, you automatically, in my mind, I automatically go to somebody's cheating, somebody's being abusive, somebody has, like, communication is off, somebody's lying, somebody's not supportive. Somebody's not listening. Somebody's not listening. I, somebody's I go to those listening. things where people say marriage is hard. But we are we make it hard. We make it hard because of what we bring in and, and we traumatize each other. And now you got to do a bunch of fixing and forgiving and having grace for one another like that's that's drainful man that is like anyway that that's a topic for another show for another uh video sorry but uh honestly it's just been a blessing y'all it's been great if you're on the fence about getting married right ask us anything yeah ask us anything you want to ask us please leave your comments below whatever you want to ask us and we will give you give you guys our honest feedback, honest opinions. Promise you. <laughs> and let us know if uh, if y'all want to see a live video. Uh, we'll try to figure something out with that as yeah. well. Uh, some things we can talk about live too. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, we just wanted to jump on and just share the the, the celebratory uh, time. And, and this is beautiful, y'all. This is yeah. beautiful, gorgeous. The hotel is very nice. We got some rose wine on deck. Yes. We're actually waiting on our reservation for uh, a steakhouse uh, down the street. It's uh, supposed to be very good. So we'll, we got a, a little bit of time before we do that. And uh, right now we're just chilling, drinking a little wine. We'll go shower, put our clothes on, get clean. <laughs>
And guess what I got? Oh. Ah! <laughs> But yeah, that's about it, you guys, I guess. No, that's about it, you guys. Have an amazing day. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Yep. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss an incremental upload. All right. Bye.